called a Century Hound cell phone detection portal, primarily for catching cell phones, but again, laptops, tablets, electronics, that you don't want it to come in or out of the workplace. Uh -huh. And that's what it's basically doing there. It's not picking up on traditional things as a metal detector, right. copper, aluminum, bronze, or brass, but rather unique properties, ferrous properties, inside of a mobile phone wow. or tablet. And that's very important that you don't want these to come into a classified facility, a government facility. We read a lot about and see a lot about the Ooh. problems that happen. You hear that and that, that's the alert that he could trigger off there to alert security personnel. Some Somebody's coming into a secure space with a mobile phone, a tablet, or something else. That, okay, how much does something like this cost? This is under $5,000. Wow. And we introduced it recently, and it's taken off on the market internationally. We've sold this all around the world, and we continue to get sales on it, so we're really excited about it. Can I work for it. you? Sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, though. I mean, that, that, that sounds great, going into secure facilities. But what about the, the, the regular employee who comes to work with a laptop? I mean, what, do you, you, leave your, you check your laptops and, and your cell phones at, at the door? Sure, absolutely. A lot, a lot of secure facilities, maybe manufacturing facilities, they don't allow laptops. They don't allow cell phones. A lot of machine shops, a lot of heavy machinery, anywhere where an operator could be distracted, an employee could be distracted with technology, they have a no cell phone policy, no electronics policy with in a certain point where it's secure. That's where they'll use this, right outside the door. Or, or even a, a conference room, a lot of secure boardrooms and meetings. Uh -huh. They don't want somebody to bring a mobile phone in and turn the microphone on and listen into the conversation. Are there any legal ramifications behind this? I, I can understand, for instance, a, a secure facility, but if you're just, you know, the regular Joe Blow going to work, uh, maybe you don't want your cell phone confiscated at the door or your laptop. Where are we with that? Well, you, you really have to comply with what's posted and stated in the company policies and procedures. And mm -hmm. some companies will have that clearly outlined Here's what our policies and procedures are. Mm -hmm. and, and statistically, even last year, there's reports of well over $50 billion in employee theft. And, and that involves intellectual property, stealing data, trade secrets, as well as stealing coffee from the, uh, you know, the cafeteria. So all of that lumped up, that's a lot of money. Well, that's a lot of moolah. You know, exactly. We're talking about you know, coffee and things like that. What, what kind of uh, money are we talking about companies saving with a device like this? Well, well think about it. If, if you had a product that you were about to launch and it was a trade secret, and the competition got up on you and, and they got a month advantage, that could translate to millions of dollars in stealing that information, having that competitive advantage, just by bringing a mobile phone or tablet into the facility, snapping some pictures, and taking it out. So companies are spending money with technology such as this to prevent anybody bringing in electronics and stealing it. And my executive producer, Alvina Olson, just said that, that these are actually popular in prisons because Absolutely, of... yeah. Yeah, good point there. And in prisons, contraband cell phones is a huge problem. I think we've talked about it in the past. Mm -hmm. You could fetch between $500 to $1,000 for getting a phone smuggled in. So outside the prison facilities, they'll use a device like this and have somebody walk through maybe a visitor, maybe a lawyer, and all of the inmates to make sure it doesn't get thrown over the fence and they tuck it away. And it does do full body detection. Now see, I'm, I, <laughs> that's where you got me. So full body detection, forget about full it. Full body detection. So if you envision, if, if, if Sean had it in his foot, for example, down there in his sock of phone, it would pick that up. Mm. If, if he had it in his shirt pocket, if he had it in multiple phones, or a laptop here and a phone down there, it'll pick it up and it'll set off an alert.